Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. And we're getting through these videos through the beginner's guides of helping anybody that has ever questioned how to do certain things and don't starve together. So as we continue down the road, people have asked, how do you get bunnies to be caught? And I've showcased that in a previous video. But let's talk a little bit more about exactly how to take them a step further, shall we? So if you went ahead and caught yourself these nice little critters, you can go ahead and turn them into something that actually will help you through the winter. And that is basically once you decide to finally catch them, or if sometimes they are a little bit slippery and they're a little bit hard to catch, and there we go, I missed out on two of them. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and keep trying to catch them because sometimes they take a little bit more time to do so. So we gotta place them over top of there, let them run back home. Come on, little bunny, go in there, fall into the net. There we go, there's one. We still need one more, and sometimes it just takes the, the fact of walking away from them. But essentially what you're going to need is you're gonna need your trusty little nets. Where do you find them? Under tools, you can create them using two twigs and six grass. And yes, you can make these at any point in time. So free of, feel free to use these for any specific reason. Sometimes I like to make a few of them as I think that bunnies early game are pretty useful, but some people might disagree and say, mm, that's more of a waste of time than anything. All right, so finally, let's go ahead and make our things. This should catch it if my calculations are correct, which I think it is. And it's completely incorrect as I completely missed that bunny. They're a little slippery and sometimes they'll fall in and sometimes they won't. So sometimes putting two traps on one, which I don't recommend doing. But anyways, when you finally get yourself two rabbit, uh, you can make rabbit earmuffs. Of course, you will be required to create a science machine. As I am in creative mode, let's get out of here and hop over to here. And just with the clean science of just a simple science machine, you can make rabbit earmuffs. And there's plenty of cool little skins to make them a little bit better than what they normally look like. So two rabbits live, not killed. So do not kill your rabbits before you make them. And I mean, unfortunately, they are going to die when you make these rabbit earmuffs. But nonetheless, you will also use one twig, pretty much nothing in order to create them. They both will die, and then, of course, giving you some insulation. 60 insulation, which is not enough to basically, you know, let you walk around forever, but essentially will keep you somewhat warmer inside of the winter. And that is how you make yourself those handy-dandy little earmuffs that keep your ears nice and toasty throughout the winter. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you go using them. I don't really use them that often, but it is good if you decide to have this in a thermal stone as your character will essentially walk around a little bit longer and retain its the heat a little bit better but of course there is a better set of of you know things that you can put on your head which we'll showcase in another video just because we had a chance to see that beefalo walking by maybe i'll make the video very soon but nonetheless go ahead and experience your earmuffs use them wisely and catch as many rabbits as you can because if you don't use them for earmuffs you can always use them for something tastier so i'll see you in the next video thanks again for watching